Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Hope everyone's keeping well. I forgot to say last weekend, I hope everyone had a good Paddy's weekend. Um, we were busy lambing and as I say, one day rolls into the next and you sort of forget about Paddy's weekend. Although, I did get to the pub on Saturday um, just to watch the match with my cousins, uh, just for a couple of hours. And uh, that probably sealed my decision for the decision I'm making uh, when I just managed to get out for a couple of hours and realised that I don't get out at all so but anyway I'll be I'll be discussing that along the way I don't want to keep going on about it I made my decision but like just people are saying don't get out of stock completely but look I'll have that much after grass after haylage and soilage that um, I'll probably maybe buy in lambs to fatten or some I'll have a small few cattle something like that But I won't be lambing and I won't be calving there will be some stock on and off the farm all the time I have to keep some anyway to get some of my payments So but just over the slats here today. We have to get agitating slurry because The tank is full 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 and I just brought up the slurry spreader where we're probably, if I go home for lunch, although it's late now and um, my cousin had a cow calving there and there was a van stuck in the ditch as well so it's uh, after 11 o'clock now getting here um oh excuse me so i'm going to bring a couple of load home with me today not going to go spreading slurry it's too wet but i just need to get the tank down a bit and then in a couple of weeks we'll probably go at myself and schooner but providing i just going back to the cattle here providing i get through a tb test uh, the cattle will be going asap once i get clear but just to show people um, I have that that one uh, tag number 150 number 977 and number 165 they're, they're three Simmental heifers and I have to scan them hopefully they're in calf to 50 cent and actually this was one that I bought out of Peter O'Connell's reduction sale and uh, I bought three at that and the other two went with TB so this is one of his um, great breeding in them without you know so and then just if if any any of my the simmental people that look at the videos are interested um give me a bell i'll be i'll be selling them um hopefully as in calf um then that's just a commercial heifer and then we have this short horn one as well hopefully she's in calf she's pedigree short horn with papers as well so um She'll be for sale. As I say, I'm selling all the cattle, selling everything. So, um, just to show people that, uh, the rest of the stock would probably go to Carnew Mart, I would say. Um, once I scan the cows, I need to scan the cows, and then any empty cows will go as cull cows because I see some of them are bulling, they've been a bulling the whole winter here, but the rest will go for breeding. Um, there's one or two there I think um, are a bullen the whole time so uh, I'll probably be selling them with calves at foot even some of the bigger lads probably let them go as calves at foot um, with them and hopefully they'll be back in calf again so they'll have a calf with them and in calf so I I'm gonna do something like that oh I'll tell you need to get in and clean off the slats there they've, they've pulled in a heap of silage so they have but just show you the slats here like it's it's full full so if i get it agitated uh, it'll go down a bit and then if i take a couple of load out of it and maybe i'll have to get a few load out of it tomorrow and um might just get us away for just uh, we'll be agitating with the um this little mccormack so uh I must say she's a great little tractor to start. Uh, it's on the button the whole time. So yeah, I'll just let it warm up there for a minute.
dragged in an awful lot of stuff there so yeah later on i've only just started this here now so later on i'll get in and i'll i may fork all that out throw it into the bag won't be uh, won't be agitating the whole shed just gonna agitate this point just to get a few load over to get down that's all and then as i said in a few weeks hopefully do the whole lot and then there'd be probably a little bit left in it um by the time the cattle go out so we do that then maybe later in the year we'll see. We're just had to load a load of haylage for country cottage stables here <coughs> um, just in me in between doom slurry so uh, I just had Madison with me here one evening so that's what we're doing here we're just getting this load loaded in the way this end I only agitated this end I didn't do any more just to get it down a little bit this is probably the last load for a while I've only done this the fourth load uh, I don't think I'll get to video Anton of I'm um, sorry just wipe the camera uh, I've Anton out in the field because it's extremely windy and my fucking camera will get destroyed so um, we'll just we'll see it's fairly windy today but um, yeah, just under pressure with back back to go back to the sheep so uh, i'm not sure i'll get any more done today but anyway i just wanted to get it down a bit and um, just want to check in the slats there now up the top end it really needed to be agitated the whole thing it's just very watery down this end when you agitate the whole thing it wouldn't be as bad i might even take some water out of this side and put it in the top side save us drawing it out of the pond you know what I mean? Great driver here, Mary Madison. Yeah. We're just, we're just finished the sheep. We have Gonzo as well. Excuse you. Yeah. Uh, we were just been down at, at the the sheep shed there, just feeding lambs. So uh, going to be coming back later. I'll probably finish off this video then uh, when I'm feeding lambs at nine o'clock or half nine. Just set up a pet pen here for these lads. Uh, there's only there's only five here, but um, probably make a pen bigger. It's just a temporary little spot for the minute in the corner. Um, we set up the automatic feeder. Still haven't got it done, but anyway, we will. Oh, 
more reality. Two lads with the watery mouth died last night. I was battling with them for a few days. Don't know whether I had stated before or not. Uh, we actually had another set of triplets uh, that was only scanned for two. Uh, but we're, we're only feeding one of those lads. The other two are not sucking or not drinking the bottle. Uh, two very little lads and then um, middle lad, but like she's only a hog of Joe, so um, they're up and running anyway. They're still alive, but just set there need to be marked. Good few in here now. A few of them need to go out. We've just been letting a few out on and off uh, as the week goes on, uh, trying to avoid the bad weather. It hasn't been too bad this week, so we're, we've got a good few out actually. Um, yeah, that's just a set I'm, I'm only after bringing over. Uh, just feeding these two lads. Uh, they drink some of the time and don't drink some of the time. So she just um, low on milk. This lad has the watery mouth. His comrade was under the light there. He died last night. So this lad is 50-50 at the minute. I'd say he's, he's still sucking. He doesn't look too bad now, but he, he definitely has it. A um, few casualty ones here, there was one in the back there where a lamb got out of the pen uh, it's, it's her own lamb, she has a set of twins and she, she won't take them and she's still not taking them and we had her in the adoption unit here only um, we were afraid she was going to lie on him so we, we put her out back in the corner but I'd say he's going to be reared as a pet or pawn him off onto another yo because she, she's just not taking him uh, I've that other set of triplets there, just an update on them. I'm, I'm feeding, still feeding two of them, so, um, but they're doing well, they're doing well. Uh, a few other lads here that can be marked. So, um, that's sort of an update on it. Um, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we will catch you at the next one.